Hey there, guys. Happy Friday to you. It's uh, just before 9 o'clock, and one of the things that's come up twice in the last week with two different uh, people that we've spoke to um, in the past year, one was a client and one was just somebody in our sphere of influence, they've asked us about the investment property process and how it works and what kind of money do you need and you know all that sort of thing. And I figured if two people in one week are asking about that, there's probably a need to do a quick explanation and uh, maybe just uh, – Kind of show an example of what you get and, and what things are involved and the costs involved and just how the whole process works to becoming an investor. Uh, so in this case, you'll see that uh, I've broken down. This is an example of a two-family property. And again, these are all estimated prices and the interest rates estimated. And I had to go off of something here. but um, So these are just assumed numbers and for very detailed numbers. Obviously, we got to you know, contact a, a loan officer. And uh, we need to have exact taxes and, you know, we have exact purchase price and rents and all that. But just to kind of give you an example, th this is this is an example we came up with. So let's say let's say you had about 50 grand to work with and 25 um, percent down is required on an investment property. And let's say you use the purchase price of 150 grand. As you'll notice here, the purchase price 150 down payments, 25 percent, which is 37.5. And that's, that leaves us with a mortgage amount of 112.5. Now, based off of that amount, you're going to have an estimated monthly payment, right? Again, estimated on 1120. And that's going off of a 30 year loan at 5% of an interest rate. Now, again, you'd have to get exact rates from your lender and, and that sort of thing. But let's assume you're able to get that. Uh, the principal interest, taxes, and insurance is going to what's make, what makes up that payment of 1120 a month. And for taxes, we went off of uh, an estimated uh, figure of 5,000 annually, and insurance uh, estimated figure of 1,200 a month, or excuse me, 1,200 annually. So those four things combined give you that payment of uh, 1,120 a month. Now let's say again it's a two-family, and in unit one down here you'll notice uh, 850 a month, and then another 850 a month. So you got two units that are both producing 850 a month. Well, that's a total monthly income of 1700 from the rent side. Now, if you subtract out the estimated monthly payment, that leaves you with a net profit of 580 a month. And this is before any expenses. Expenses you got to take into consideration could be, you know, water bills, maintenance, um, you know, snow plowing, lawn care, um, any property management fees if you're going to do that. Or, you know, maybe you do this yourself if it's, a you know, only a two family. So again, these are just figures to give you an idea of what kind of cash flow or what kind of return could I expect if, if I were to want to get into this. Now let's look over here, the second example where we, we said the rents are a thousand dollars a month, which you know could be the case. Say you get two grand coming in a month. Now your net profit before expenses goes up to 879 a month, obviously a little more attractive. And those are going off of the basic same figures there. So what I did was break this down into two different examples of, you know, depending on the cash flow you're, you're bringing in, but also let's take a look at what kind of properties even sell for that. Because that's the other thing is a lot of people are like, well, you know, what does this get me? Is this, a, is, you know, is it a dog? Is it a moving ready? Is it a place that, you know, is already rented? Uh, so on and so forth. Um, and actually before we jump over to that quickly, I just want to say these are based off of two family. Now, obviously if you bought a, three, four, you know, or a higher price to family, these numbers can all change. But just for a basic, you know, breakdown, I think this was this was probably the most accurate uh, way to present this because, again, you could buy a property for 225 and the taxes could be, you know, 9,200. Well, your rents could also be a lot higher. So it's all relative to what you're trying to get and what areas you're looking at. So, again, based off these estimates, we'll jump over to I just did a quick MLS search. These are these are example properties. Uh, this one, this one, this one closed out at 156. So, just giving you a couple. And this is in Albany on 637 Washington Ave. Again, just giving you an idea of what you know what these places look like inside. And this was bringing in 870 a month and then 900 a month, and both units were leased. So I'm not going to go through 40 pictures, but you get the sense of of what this property was like. And kind of gives you a sense for the interior uh, elements there. So the next one here, 
was a property in Green Island. It sold for 159 and this one here was rented out at, uh, well, it says it was family occupied, so it was owner occupied. One side of the unit was had family in there for 1100 a month estimated, and the other side was 950 estimated. Now, because it was family occupied, they really weren't at market rents, so this is what they're projecting the rents would have been, which we oftentimes see. So again, just giving you an idea of what, obviously this, this unit was a little bit nicer. Looks like some of the upgrades were done. Uh, kitchens were improved, right? So again, shows you kind of an example of, of how that would work. Now the taxes in this property, they're saying about 4,000. So again, this comes into play where if the tax are a little bit less, you know, uh, your cash flow might be a little bit higher, but there might be other expenses involved. You know, is Green Island water, higher than the city of Albany water, those sorts of things. So that's where you really dig into these and kind of fine tune what the numbers breakdown is. Uh, the last property here is in Troy and these rents were 900 and 950. And again, this property sold for 150. This is on Oakwood. And again, we'll just give you a couple pictures of the interior show you what type of condition this property was in. So again, the point of doing this is just to give you a basic breakdown on how the investment property works, um, you know, what types of figures are involved and what it takes to, to get in the game of investing. Um, if you have any interest in talking more about this, feel free to reach out, send me a message, email, or text, whatever's good, and i uh, be happy to talk with you more about this, but obviously this is a great way to build a portfolio outside of, you know, the market, you know, the stocks and bonds and IRAs and that sort of thing, um, if, if you, you know, if you're interested in doing that. So uh, feel free to reach out. Hope you guys have a great Friday. Hope this was helpful. And um, yeah, I'm sure we'll be we'll be seeing you. Hope you have a great weekend. Thanks very much for tuning in.